hey, this is a test. Uh, we're going to check out using Air Server to see if we can record everything on the iPad. So I'm uh, connecting via my laptop here. Let's choose to present on the laptop. We are sharing the screen. And now I am going to be connecting my iPad. And I'll put in the lovely code here, 3063. And now da -da -da -da, everyone should be seeing my iPad and whatever it is that I want to show here. Open up Flipboard. Let's say I want to do a little explain everything. So I can open up explain everything. Now, everything that I draw or do here is recorded on my, um, my uh, Google Meet. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and stop my mirroring. So I'll turn off my, my iPad mirroring. I will stop presenting. Da -da. So the solution um, allows us to record anything on the iPad. Actually, the, difficult, the reason I'm doing this is because we've got a teacher who wants to go ahead and both mirror her iPad to her, her projector but also record at the same time. And it turns out you can't do that with the iPad. As soon as you try to connect with AirPlay, recording stops. And if you're connected with AirPlay, uh, recording is not an option. So I think the same graphics chip, the, sub, the, the support article that I read said the same graphics chip is used for both things, so you can't do that. However, this is a workaround. So if I'm using my laptop to share the Hangout Meet, then I can be presenting my screen and if I share my iPad on my screen, there'd actually be another way to do this too. Air Server wouldn't be the only way. The other way to do this would be to use the built the um, uh, QuickTime Player program. And um, I think I'm actually going to maybe post this as a video, and I'll put a link uh, on the web or on the on the notes to this. I can show this really quick. So I'm going to present my screen. I'm going to go to our support website for our school iPad share via QuickTime. All right, it only took forever. Um, huh, this is under live. So I guess we go to teacher. I don't know why that's not showing up there. Here it is, iPad share via QuickTime. Uh, you have to authorize this in your settings and I've got a video tutorial. Uh, basically, you're gonna open up QuickTime player, you're gonna choose file new movie recording. And when you have your iPad plugged in to your computer, then it will allow you to record it. So I think that is, a, that is a possibility here for what we're trying to do. All right. If you have other suggestions of a better way to do this, you can let me know. Reach out on Twitter. I am W Fryer on Twitter. And that's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Adios.